Fruitdale High School welping, welcoming back students a week after tornado just threat, swept through the area, causing a lot of damage. Our Gianni Navarro was there as the students headed back. Ready? Class is back in session at Fruitdale High School. Students returning to their studies a week after an EF3 tornado swept through, causing major damage. And when I found out that it had been hit as bad as it did, my first thought was, well, are we going to go back? School was originally scheduled to start last Friday, but was postponed so staff could double down on safety. Senior Carrie James says she was worried they wouldn't be able to return, and like many students, says she's happy to be back on campus. I'm glad to be back for a while. I thought we wasn't going to be back, and that scared me for a little bit because it is my senior year, but... I'm glad that we have the community like we do that got together and made it possible for us to be back today. Principal Kurt Stagner says he owes it to volunteers and staff for helping to get the school cleaned up and ready for their students. Had a lot of uh, volunteers and community, of course our staff, been up here working um, day and night trying to get, get things ready just to get the students back. Now we've got that um, ready to go and students are arriving this morning. Um, now we're going to focus on some other major repairs. Although a lot of work has been done, the gym, the athletic field, and other buildings were badly damaged. The hardest hit was the agricultural classroom and shop. It's going to take a while on the softball field probably. And of course, you know the, the, uh, the ag shop was probably going to be totally demolished, but most the, the worst damage besides the ag shop was on the softball field. Softball and baseball season starts in January. Both Daly and Principal Stagner say they are going to do everything they can to get the field ready for the season. Gianni Navarro, Fox 10 News.